Hello friends, today we're going to do uh, tree banding. <laughs> tree banding. This will be the first time that we're going to do this on our fruit trees because we want to protect our fruit trees from being infected from the bugs, the pests and bugs that are eating our fruits. Some years were okay, there's only a little bit of bugs in our apples, but last year it was a lot, like probably half of our apples were gone to waste because of the bad spots in the apple. What it is is that it's the caterpillars, worms that's hibernating in the ground right now and they are trying to, uh, they're waking up soon. It'll be springtime, it's starting to warm up and this is the first part of March. So we're probably late. Anyway, the hibernating bugs, pests and worms that are in the ground, they crawl up to the tree anytime year round, but it's less in winter time when there's not a lot of leaves to eat. They like eating leaves, fruit tree leaves, especially the young ones in the springtime. So that's why we're trying to catch it, catch them. The sooner the better. So we're going to use this Catchmaster tree shield. Hopefully this will work. This is called an insect barrier. There are all kinds of, it's going to protect from all kinds of uh, insects and bugs, worms that uh, they are insect borers that they will infect the apples, the buds of the apples, and those bugs will bear babies. And then the cycle continues on and on and on. And then there will be more for next year. So we're trying to, what, what this does is it tries to prevent the cycle from happening. So hopefully later there won't be any damage on our fruit trees and our, and our harvest. We have pear trees, we have, we have apple trees here. So um, hopefully this will help. Okay, let's do this. So we bought two kinds. This one is ready to go. It's called Tree Shield by Catchmaster. Insect barrier, you can see there's all, all kinds of uh, bugs that is a deterrent for moths, beetles, another kind of moth and worm. So hopefully this will work. And I have a twine here. This will be useful as well. I'll show you in a little bit. Here's the adhesive insect barrier. And it's the same brand as this one here. But this one here, it will require for you to put these uh, plastic tape around the tree but we're gonna I'm gonna use this first uh, this one is ready to go it's like a tape it's adhesive but you're gonna wrap around the tree branch with the tree trunk uh, this one it's it's you that's gonna do it you will be doing it yourself to put around the tree and then using this using this scraper thing uh, you put this the tape uh, this glue it's pretty sticky, so I can see why this works. There are many orchard managers that have used this, and it's highly rated. So hopefully this will, this will work for our fruit trees as well. Okay, let's do it. So here is an apple tree. This is where we're going to wrap. Hopefully this will work. Make sure that there are no... These nodes here, they are going to be make sure that you at least make it clear and then this one here the instruction is you have to measure tree to wrap to determine the desired length so this will be probably seven inches across and then you have to expose the desired length of the sticky surface leaving enough length for overlap to secure the wrap and then cut with a razor or a knife secure using the overlapping portion so it's easy to use the instruction is here for you to read so right here so there are four in this row so this is what it looks like You don't want this one closer to the ground. You want to leave it like right here, across. So it's... Make sure that it's snug, really snug. Oh, so it protects. 
see it's very sticky it's sticking to my hand <laughs> it works it does so it's better to use the okay the sticky is sticky side up okay it needs to be the sticky side up otherwise it will not work It's a challenge. There you go. Ooh. Now you see the you see there is a it could be that the bugs can crawl under here because there's bumps on the tree trunk or the main tree so that's why it's better to use the twine to make it more secure. The twine is optional but highly recommended to secure the sticky tape so crawling bugs and insects won't just crawl through the gaps and crevices of the trunk. As much as possible, choose the portion of the trunk where it is smoother and don't have surface depressions, nodes or bumps. The good thing about this sticky band is that it is safe for the fruit trees. If you want to produce organic fruits, this sticky band will help control pests and bugs infestation if you do it properly and at the right time and season. Make sure that you tie the twine properly and securely and that there is no extra twine attached or hanging onto the sticky band, otherwise bugs or insects would just crawl on it as they try to escape the sticky substance. After tying the twine, make sure that you cut the twine really short. Tying the top on the bottom helps secure the sticky band and also prevents bugs and insects from escaping through the underside. Obviously, doing this is time consuming, but generally speaking, any preventative and control measures you do on your fruit trees, whether you use horticultural spray, powder application, setting traps, or the use of sticky traps, they are time consuming. They require money, time, and effort. Obviously, if we want our fruit trees to produce good quality fruits, we need to do something. We haven't sprayed any chemical-based horticultural oil on our fruit trees. They are growing organically. But we know that applying some safe method of prevention and control is a wise thing to do. That's why this year we'll try something different to control destructive bugs from eating our fruits. There you go. One tree's done. Putting the sticky band or the trap is not really hard. This is what it looks like up close. Well, I tried the best I could to put the twine around. So hopefully this will work. It is highly recommended to check the sticky trap band every week and you need to replace it when it gets loaded with trap dead bugs to keep live bugs from climbing on the fruit trees. For this one here, since the branch is so close i'll do one here and one here the sticky band glue band or grease band must be placed at least 18 inches above ground for trees that have shorter distance between the trunk and the ground you can just put the sticky band on the branches As you can see, the sticky bands are not on the same height because I avoided a protruding bump so it does not damage the plastic. It is what it is. As long as the bands are secured and in place, that's what's more important. In the next clip, you'll see how I use the plastic wrap and the adhesive glue. Please excuse my masked face and voice as I was trying to prevent pollen from my nose. Huh, unfortunately, I became allergic to pollen. Anyway, we'll be using this. It's like a saran wrap. It's a plastic that would... You're gonna wrap it around the tree. It'll go around here. Make sure that it goes as tight as possible.
it will basically act the same thing but this time you are going to base this plastic wrap with the adhesive sticky thing make sure that it's fit snug snugly fit with this kind you don't necessarily need to put a plastic or a twine around it as long as you have it sticking on the branch of the tree really good and with the use of this catchmaster insect barrier adhesive it's pretty sticky as you can see and if you buy a kit the kit will come with a scraper oops the kit comes with a scraper like this and of course this is what you can use pretty sticky so you have to be very careful on how you apply it here base as much as you can on the plastic spread it evenly this one would last for a little while compared to the tape a pre-made tape this one you can put it as stick as you want I recommend you wear gloves when you do this because the adhesive is very sticky Especially if you have many trees to apply the adhesive on, it gets really messy and sticky. You can use oil or mineral spirit to clean your hands and the adhesive spreader after using it. That's what the instruction says. You don't want to directly apply this on the tree trunk because it's not good for the tree trunk. It will be messy and you don't want the bugs there stuck forever. So with the plastic wrap around it, you can always replace it and you can remove the plastic there you go this is a bigger tree so i put a wide plastic wrap around it my hand is sticky it's better to use gloves if you have gloves it's better to wear it so that your hands won't get sticky in springtime there's a lot of pests that will climb up to your tree because they want to eat the fresh leaves fresh flowers but bugs they come up and down your trees your fruit trees any time of the year and there's more in springtime there you go so this is what it looks like. You base the plastic with the adhesive using this plastic roll. It's like a saran wrap. It's a really thin plastic and you wrap it however wide you want it to be. I just overlap too. So if you buy a kit, this plastic moving wrap, you can get it in a kit. It's included in the kit. But you can also buy it individually. And this is what it looks like. You have to make sure that you put the sticky glue around it thick enough so that the insects, the bugs, the caterpillars will get stuck and they won't be able to travel on the branches. Shortly after I put the sticky band, a few moths or flies landed on the sticky band and they're stuck. A few days after we put the sticky band around the apple trees, the bands got loaded with bugs, dead insects. As you can see, they look really gross. It's amazing. We see ants, moths, dead long legs, and other insects on the trap. So I'd say this thing works. It's done a good job in trapping these bugs, as you can see. So hopefully, we'll have less bad apples this year. Again, you need to check these grease bands often. Once they're loaded with trapped dead bugs, discard them immediately and put new greased bands. These bands are waterproof, so it stays sticky for a while. It is best to keep the sticky trapped or greased bands on year round and best set the sticky grease bands during fall season and leave it on throughout the winter and early spring before the trees form new buds and leaves. The use of sticky bands is just an option in preventing or controlling bug infestation. There are other options as well that you can do to control pests and diseases from your fruit trees. 
There's horticultural spray, powder application like the use of diatomaceous earth powder. There's moth traps that you can set up. In the Philippines, local gardeners and farmers use smoke rising from a garden burn pile with green and dried leaves and branches. The smoke helps kill bugs and smother the pests on fruit trees. In Asia, people use the smoke from a torch made out of green and dead leaves to ward off bugs and insects, just like they do when they harvest wild honey. That's what I remember my folks do in the Philippines on our fruit trees as well. But please keep in mind that what works in other countries may not work in some parts of the USA, in Europe, or in places where wildfires are rampant. So please, whatever you do, make sure that it is safe for the fruit trees, safe for the environment, safe for humans, and of course, safe for the fruits that you're going to harvest and eat later. Thanks for watching and happy gardening!